This is the 100% shiny hunting locations for every single ground type Pokemon in the Teal Mask DLC. If you're looking for a specific Pokemon, make sure to check out the timestamps down below. And for any other Pokemon types, make sure to check out this playlist that has the entire Teal Mask DLC Pokemon. And you can also check out the original playlist that has Pokemon from Paudea if you missed any of that. The ground sandwich recipe is going to be one ham and two salty Herba Mysticas. Feel free to comment down below the special sandwich recipe of your choice that doesn't necessarily involve salty Herba Mysticas. Also, feel free to use level two sandwiches as you need in order to get the encounter powers as well. If you did it right, you should have sparkling power ground level three and encounter power ground level three. In order to press double home so you can do the zoom in trick for the shiny Pokemon, make sure to go ahead and hit the home button, go down to your settings, go all the way down to system, and then from system, you can go all the way towards the zoom button and make sure to turn it on. After that, it should be easy to find shiny Pokemon roaming around that are possibly too small. All right, let's get hunting. Okay. So if you're looking for a Geodude, you're going to head over to the Infernal Pass over here. And once you arrive, well, there's going to be a lot of Geodudes when you turn around your entire map. Now, they're going to be all over this mountain. So the best strategy to get one is to place yourself in a position on the map where you can see a bunch of them and then start doing picnic resets. If you're not a fan of picnic resets, well, you can just go up and down until they despawn and respawn. And you're just going to be looking for a golden yellow colored rock. That's it. It'll be so awesome obvious please nobody miss it this is what graveler is going to look like and this is what golem is going to look like uh just be aware that you cannot get a golem unless you trade a graveler you have to trade in order to get a golem also keep in mind you can import alolan forms in here and you could breed and do the masuda method in order to get yourself a shiny alolan golem but you know what they're going to be in the next dlc but i just wanted to put that out there for those who want to shiny hunt one right now in this game this next location is going to be a gibble hotspot the dragon video we were not able Able to get a good dragon spawn for it but this is gonna be amazing so head over to the crystal pool and we're gonna cross the bridge over there and head over to the secret cave right over here from that area once you get into the secret cave you're gonna just drop down and you know you start to see some gibbles here it gets a little exciting because i think honestly this is better than scarlet and violet's gibble spot i don't know could just be me but i like this one way better and by scarlet and violet i mean paudea that's what i meant uh, you're gonna get to the bottom layer over here and then you're gonna be introduced to a bunch of gibble here right so okay this is a couple gibble so i'm gonna make my way down to this corner here make sure to not fall down this hole very important to not fall down that hole and then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna send my iron valiant up there and i'm gonna place myself slowly back over here and i'm just going to watch my iron valiant take out all these gibbles until i see a shiny gibble now here's what a shiny gibble looks like here's what its evolution looks like and here's what garchomp looks like yes garchomp you literally cannot tell the difference if i were you i would just keep gibble <laughs> as far as i would go with the shiny don't let it go beyond the gibble because it does not look good anyway if your pokemon does seem to freeze up during the afk method you can just reinitiate it back up a bit let it take out the gibbles for you and just place yourself back here um, and that's pretty much going to be your best shiny hunting spot for gibble as you can see its evolution does show up here and there so just keep in mind for the second evolution shiny and you should be able to get one i mean just look how many are there these and they keep spawning this is great great spot if you want shiny luck like that hit that subscribe button for shiny luck now this next location if you want to hunt toad school and toad school is going to be located in the timeless woods this is going to be a great location if you're trying to hunt this pokemon because you know what they're literally like the only pokemon that spawn here minus any of the static spawns so it's a really good spot if you have not caught them in the base game in paudea go for it here the shinies are really obvious so this is what toad school looks like and this is what its evolution looks like and you get plenty of them that spawn here in both family groups with just toad school alone and with even you know the final evolution over here with a bunch of babies so just walk around this area and see what you can get and i'm pretty sure you all should be able to get one with no problems as it's the only thing that spawns here so good luck hunting this pokemon here now if you want to hunt yourself a sand shrew this is going to be a great spot in the game uh this is going to be located all the way from kitty hall and you're just going to dive down right over here into this pit uh facing this direction so there is kitty Kami hall there's me facing it and yeah you get a bunch of sand shrew in this area and all you really have to do is picnic reset in order to get the shiny you need and so many spawn over here so it's it's a really good spot and what you're looking for is going to be a really obvious green shiny and then the cool part is look at its evolution it literally gets red spikes on its back i think this is definitely one of the top tier gen 1 shinies when you look at it it's definitely amazing how it looks anyway uh, so what you want to do is basically you just stand here you wait for a bunch spawn after a bunch of them does spawn you just put your picnic out just like i said and just look at the amount that spawn now now there's also a 
another spot here that you can also use and it's literally right up here <laughs> it's a cave right up here so we're gonna go right to this cave and you can see on my mini map over here at the bottom right we are right by kitty kami hall that you could drop down from the side and this is a cave and in case you guys need assistance getting to the cave because i know sometimes it's very difficult when youtubers just blab on about go to this and go to that and you can't find it so this is kitty kami hall right here this is the facing away from that and you turn right and you just drop down and that's where my sand shoe were too anyway there should be a cave right over here you want to just drop down you want to walk in and oh look at that it's another cave just full of these mods so yeah there are a bunch of sand shoe that do spawn here just find a spot where you can make a picnic you can go ahead and make that picnic just like this and then after that you'll get an entire group of them spawning over there <laughs> just like this and they'll just keep coming out the wall. You can double home, zoom in if for some reason you have issues seeing it. But preferably, I do like this spot down here as this is where I happen to get my shiny. So good luck getting your shiny sand shrew and sand slash. If you're playing Pokemon Violet and you head over to the Paradise Barrens, it's going to be a lot easier for you to hunt down this next Pokemon, which is going to be Mudbray. Now, Mudbray was also a pretty easy hunt in the base game of Paldea, but I just wanted to make sure you are aware that this hunt also exists in this game so if you didn't get it well why don't you just hunt for it in kitakami all you gotta do is look for this color shiny this is what its evolution looks like now if you're playing pokemon scarlet the only issue you're gonna be running into is that they're gonna be a lot more gligars in the area you sometimes you also get some sand shoes spawning as well as geodudes but in pokemon violet you'll get way more of the mudbray spawns so just keep that in mind when you're in this area obviously it's not the ideal hunting spot so you probably want to go to paldea for it but if you want to feel like hunting in a different spot this is what you're going to be doing for Mudbray. Uh, so good luck hunting your shiny Mudbray. Scarlet players, let me know how lucky you are with getting Mudbrays in your game since Gligars are there. But Violet players, you should be able to get one. All right, let's move on to the next one. All right, so if you want to be a professional whooper hunter like Shiny Catherine, this is going to be one of the best areas to do it. In my opinion, actually, there's multiple areas. Whoopers are everywhere. One of my favorite ones that I'll show you in this video is going to be from Masui Town on this side. So when you walk out of Masui Town, just like this, you hit Kitakami Road and you can see all the whoopers that start to spawn. Just make sure to peek over the edge so you can see the whoopers that spawn in the water, grass, and what you want to do is angle up your camera just in case any whoopers spawn in the grass. And that way you can see the little blues over there. If it's pink, well, that's going to be your shiny for whooper. So yeah, this is this one's really fast area to do it. This does not involve picnic resets because you just have to tap down, walk back out, and they will all spawn right in front of you as you exit the area. So this one's very convenient if you want to do really fast resets and make sure you're turning around and looking at the whoopers everywhere to make sure they're pink. Now, you can follow me down this road because not only do you have to do picnic resets, but you can simply just walk around the entire area and only see whoopers because they are everywhere. As I'm continuing down, this is also another hot spot. If you feel like picnic resetting, this spot is very good as it does spawn a huge group of whoopers over here. So just go ahead and uh, pop a picnic at this rock. This is the secret spot we cover in most of the videos for specific sandwiches is uh, corners usually give a good amount of Pokemon. Um, So keep that in mind and then you just have to look forward here and you'll see a bunch of whoopers spawning in front of you. So there we go. All you got to do is look for the pink color. And if you don't like the picnic and you don't like the town reset, well, then you can simply just continue to follow the road all the way up. Most likely, if you're hunting for whooper in that area, you're going to probably have one by just it showing up because they're just everywhere. But I actually got mine in front of the town uh, by just walking by it. But yeah, continuing on the entire riverbank here from the town all the way here in the Moscow Confluence fluence area you're just gonna bump into whoopers so feel free to just walk along this river area and you should get yourself one and these are just gonna be for solo spawns i actually found a quagsire as well so here's my quagsire clip they're they're everywhere you should be good all right now that we're done with that let's move on to the next pokemon now i know swineup is also a hybrid ice typing uh, but with the ground sandwich there's a specific spot where these guys spawn like crazy and it's going to be right over here in this area so here's the masui town here's the road and then you come all the way down by the water in this like little dip corner area and take a look all around me you literally can just see swineups everywhere if you go anywhere else in this area you'll get swineups mixed with toad scroll so this is going to be your spot for this and this is what the shiny looks like it's second evolution and the third evolution so when you're looking around this area you can probably picnic reset or just despawn them out something fun you could do if you want to just really fast despawn them just head across the river and uh once they all despawn from this side you can 
can just jump back over here or you can do the picnic reset whatever you want to choose to do uh just make sure you're paying very close attention because it is not brown as you saw earlier so your zoom in technique might be really important like look at that you just get a bunch of these guys everywhere they're brown so moscow confluence at this corner fantastic spot to be hunting or swine up here picnic resets also work pretty nicely obviously if you use an ice sandwich it should be easier for us to hunt this down but i know you're gonna run into situations where you get the ground shiny you want and you're like hey might as well hunt for another one that's why i do all these pokemon in one video and even though like i could prefer to put this in the ice one i put it here so there you go there's your spot for swine up good luck hunting this one and yeah this this spot is just so good i love it my favorite spot the next pokemon that we're going to be going for is barboach and whiskash which is going to be your water and ground type pokemon and this is great to be in the ground video because it'll separate it out from the uh, water type video anyway uh so underneath the crystal pool in the secret part of the cave uh there is going to be a pool that specifically spawns barboach and phoebus but because we have the ground sandwich on it's going to focus only on barboach while we are here so this is a great spot to go ahead and try to hunt barboach and you also get some whisk caches going up in the back cave and you could see we have all these spawning over here they'll spawn out there as well so uh, you could pretty much just hunt the pokemon down here but i preferably don't like it too much because when you initially come here there's a lot of gibble so you don't really want to deal with that you have to despawn of the gibble and fight them but you know at least this area is water okay the next location we're gonna be heading to is going to be the fallen horn and then you fall into the water over here because you fall down okay great and in this water there's going to be specific pokemon that spawn and you're gonna get a lot of barboach also in here now of course the good old whooper like i mentioned earlier is going to spawn everywhere in this game so you will get a bunch of whoopers here but this is where barboach will be spawning and whiskash you want to just be a little more aware because that spawns here too and sometimes people miss it shiny so uh, make sure you're paying attention to the shinies here if you get lucky this is a dual hunting spot you might bump into a whooper or a quagsire so when you're passing by just make sure to go ahead and zoom in if you're doubting if it's nighttime and see what's possibly in front of you if it's the right pokemon and if it's a shiny and that's going to be this location let's move over to the last one now if you're not a big fan of fellhorn well there's another water spot we got over here this is all going to be all the way up by the gracious stones and just head towards the water body right in front of you this is another location of course this is going to be a little intermingled with whoopers and quagsires but you'll get some whisk caches spawning up here sometimes you find a bar boat or two this is just another spot it seems a little more biased towards the quagsires and whoopers but you know i just got to give you all the options in there that there possibly could be a shiny for the whisk cache so yeah here's another spot and they, there you go there you go we got the random whisk caches so there's three spots for you good luck getting your shiny whisk cache and bar boat in the teal mask the next pokemon that we're going to be hunting is going to be a pokemon scarlet exclusive only so violet players you can go ahead and ask some scarlet people in our discord to help you out with that as we do a lot of trading over there there's like 30,000 plus people there so head over there if you want one but scarlet players this is where you're going to be finding your gligars in the area this is going to be in the kitakami wildlands uh, so it's going to be north of fellhorn gorge and it's going to be south of the timeless woods so this is like the only pokemon that spawns here and the shiny looks like this which means it's going to be really obvious for you to find one and the best thing that you can do when you're trying to hunt a gligar is going to be really simple all you got to do is find a good amount that spawn in a certain area and when you think you have like a good amount there you can go ahead and do a picnic reset now that's just one of the options to hunting your gligar the other option that you could do besides just picnic resetting and as we can see we have all of them start to spawn again as soon as you're done there we go the other option is just simply move around the area like completely despawn out an entire group of them just like that like you just look behind you you despawn the group out and as you despawn them out you just get to head right back to that area and just do that over and over again all right shouldn't be too hard for you to get a shiny i actually got my shiny in paradise barren so that was a pretty interesting spot for me to get mine uh, but you would definitely have a way better chance getting one over here now you got all your shiny ground pokemon the teal mask you should get these pokemon over here 